Hello, welcome to Children's Sermon Box. So me and Linus know what's in this box. And Mama doesn't, but she has to make up a sermon about it as soon as she as soon as she gets it out of the box. So okay. we're excited to see what she comes up with. Yeah. I'm excited to see what's in okay. here. Okay. Let's see what's inside. Hmm, it's not making any noise. It's not stinky cheese. <laughs> no, no. Oh my goodness. It is. A sock. It is a sock which my dog is gonna come eat because she loves shocks. Socks. <laughs> shocks. She loves socks. Hmm. So. It's a blind you, brother sock. It is. It is a very special sock. Um. So today's um today is the second Sunday of Lent, mm -hmm. and Lent is. A season in which sometimes we give up some of our favorite things. Now, a sock is one of my dog Rigby's favorite <laughs> things, and I don't think she celebrates Lent, so she would be very confused <laughs> by the idea of giving up a sock. But this this sock is is uh, alone, which makes me think that its owner wonders where the other sock went. And in Lent. Um, sometimes the reason we give something up isn't because chocolate helps us pray better or not chocolate helps us not pray better, but because when something is missing or something is different about our routine, we pause and wonder why. So there are things that we might do differently. Some people um, have less screen time or... Um, uh, take on a practice of going on family walks or doing something different during Lent. And it's the disruption of the normal rhythm that makes them stop and say, wait, why am I doing this again? And it is to be closer to God. And so when I see a missing sock, it makes me wonder, hmm, what happened here? Where is the other sock? And we, when we see something missing from our life, when we see something different in our pattern of our day, we stop and consider why. And that is a good opportunity for us to take a moment and remember God mm -hmm. and to say uh, maybe a thank you to God. Yeah. <laughs> to say it smells actually like pretty good. I'm glad. It's probably a clean sock. That's good. <laughs> um, uh, it gives us a chance to say thank you to God, or it gives us a chance to say, help me God. Um, so when something is missing or different in our life, let's remember to take a moment and talk to God. Linus, did you know how you can talk to God? By praying. By praying. And do you have to be in church to pray? No. No. Where can you pray, Linus? Anywhere. You can pray on the Peloton. You can pray at your <laughs> desk. You can pray on the floor. You can pray at church. You can pray outside. You can pray while snuggling with the dog. You can pray while you're sleeping. <laughs> well, you can dream about pray praying. It's it's true. It's true. And I do a lot of praying on the Peloton. It's true. <laughs> um, you can also pray in the office. It's true. So... Today and during the season of Lent, when we simplify things and we give some things up and we take some things, new practices on, let us remember Jesus, let us remember God, and let us remember that we are never, ever, ever alone on this journey because we can always say, hey God, are you there? And God will say, yes, I'm here. To that we say, amen. Amen. amen.